While navigating through the building, you've probably noticed some artifacts that appear on the top surface of the ground floor slab. They're a result of the mesh not being affected when the priority-based junctions were created. Therefore, in this lesson, we'll use solid element operations to subtract the foundations, the pavement, and the ground floor slab from the terrain mesh. First, let's divide the pavement slab into two parts. By pressing the W key, switch to the arrow tool. Select the pavement slab, activate the split command, and click on the two nodes of the shortest segment of the slab. Move the cursor. It doesn't matter in which direction because we won't edit these parts of the slab right now. Click to finish the operation. Hit Escape to deselect the slab. Now let's filter the display of elements. Open the Find and Select palette. You can activate the Edit, Find and Select menu command, or just press the Control Command plus F shortcut. Set the element type criterion as Wall. Press the Add button. Select in the Surface and Materials group, Building Material as a Criterion. And click on the Add button at the bottom of the list. Or simply double click this element. Choose the Reinforced Concrete Structural value. Click on the plus button to select the concrete foundations. This will select seven elements. Change the element type to column. And press plus again. Now 11 elements are selected. Let's add the slabs to the selection by modifying the element type to slab. Select the building material criterion and click on the Remove button. Add Home Story from the Positioning group as a criterion with a value of zero ground floor. Click on the plus button to add the pavement and ground floor slab to the selected elements. Shift click on the mesh to add it to the current selection. Right click and select Show Selection Marquee in the context menu. Now the view is filtered to the selected elements. Shift click on the mesh again to remove it from the selection. Right click and choose Connect, Solid Element Operations. A dialog appears where we can define the connections among selected elements. Click Get Operator Elements to add the current selection of 14 elements as operators. Now select the mesh only and click Get Target Elements. This way you have one target element and 14 operator elements stored. Select Subtraction with Upward Extrusion from the list of operations and click Execute. The foundation and the parts above it are subtracted from the terrain mesh. To check the result, select only the mesh and choose Show Selection Marquee in 3D. Deselect the mesh, close the SEO, and Find and Select Palettes. Then activate the Show All in 3D command. Select the pavement slab in the front entrance area and move it down by 450 millimeters. You can also just select the pavement slab and change the reference plane offset to home story value in the info box from minus 50 to minus 500. When finished, deselect the slab. 